Today we are celebrating 40 years of GS and the goal is to take you on a ride as we pay homage to limitless adventures both on and off the road. This is 40 years of GS. It's four decades of adventure. For 40 years, the BMW GS has combined versatility and adventure. We're celebrating that this year with features on several GS motorcycles that allude to the legendary Enduros from BMW Motora. Now for our first feature, we take a glimpse of the 40 years GS edition of the G310 GS. Adapting the black and yellow color scheme of the legendary R100 GS, it brings the GS history to life, which spells spontaneity, adventure, and technology that's highly equipped with the GS Flyline. Now, those who have, well, experienced the G310 GS can attest that at the very first turn of the throttle grip, you can clock up those serious miles and feel the spirit of GS in every mile. Now, let's check out if this is truly as awesome as it claims from the riding enthusiast who has just discovered her passion for motorcycles at the age of 40. And not only that, she's a woman who goes by the name of Indai Rider. What's up, Indai? Well, hello, Miss Indai Ryder. What a pleasure to have you here yeah, with us. Yes. Well, let's start with the, your journey. Where did your journey in motorcycling begin? Well, actually, I started two years ago. Mm -hmm. Just recently, I okay. felt that I think I need to do something different. I want to distress and find an outlet from my busy world. Mm -hmm. And then came out, the, the rest is history. The rest is history. <laughs> now, you're making new memories, new histories, of yes. course, with the G310. Tell okay. us a little bit about um, you know, how you how you like the bike, what mm -hmm. the bike means to you. I really fell in love with adventure bikes, with particular with this G310 GS, mm -hmm. because it's light and nimble, with the weight of it at 169.5 kilograms. Very manageable. For a female rider like me, mm -hmm. I think that's very good factor for a bike. All right, now the G310 GS is a yes. bike for everybody, but yes. it works particularly well for you, a yeah. female rider of your height and weight. Tell us a little bit about how well this, uh, um, I don't know, the dimensions of the bike work for yes. you. Yes, this bike is a great starter bike if you want to enter the adventure bikes. Mm -hmm. Kasi okay. with this one, makaka-practice ka talaga. Right. And the feels of an adventure bike, it may be 310cc displacement. Mm -hmm. I know it's lower, but for a newbie, it's perfect as a practice bike also. Okay, there are a few other details here that make it very ideal yeah. for somebody like you. The clutch levers, brake levers, adjustable yes. for your hand size. Yes, actually, this is one feature that is best mm -hmm. because most of us, when you do long rides, number one na napapagod are the hands. So if the clutches or the brake levers are adjusted to your preference, that would be a good add-on to the comfort of your riding. Right. Mm. You know, comfort is one thing, feeling good about the bike yeah. is another, and you feel good about the yes. bike because primarily mm -hmm. a bike, first and foremost, has to have visual appeal. Yes. This bike looks beautiful. Is there anything on the bike that really stands out for you? What would you say is your favorite feature when it comes to the, um, the uh, G310? The suspension sa harap is mm -hmm. upside forks, yeah. so it's best for off-road riding mm -hmm. then. So you get the best of both worlds kasi not only in on street and road ride, mm -hmm. you also can play around on dirt roads. Right. Uh, it's very convenient for you to, to ride it. Mm -hmm. Parang madali siyang i-maneuver because of the wide handles you have. Mm -hmm. And I think even if you go to the in, inner roads of our provinces, which is very sometimes jam-packed then, yes. madali lang din siyang isingit. So that's one factor I like about this bike. It really sounds like you're in love with it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much, Indai Rider. Yes, thank you, Pao. Next up, we have the F750 GS 40 Years GS Edition. Starting your adventure just got easier thanks to this bike's extensive technical features. I'm talking about Dynamic Traction Control, or DTC. ABS Pro and Pro Riding Modes help provide secure handling in a variety of situations. The powerful two-cylinder inline engine delivers all the drive you need. Wow, now that is a lot of tech words. And so, let us find out more as another motorcycle lady enthusiast takes us on a wild ride. Here's MotoConnect Manila's feature on the F750 GS 40 Years Edition. All right. 
with Rika, the woman behind Moto Connect. Now, I'm really excited to talk about the F750 GS. Let's talk about what kind of a rider you are uh -huh. nowadays. I can say that I'm not yet a seasoned rider. Mm -hmm. I'm just a newbie rider and, of course, a lady rider. Right. And as a lady rider, it's very important that I'm comfortable with the bike that I choose. And because of that oh no moment, and especially that I'm 5'3", I find it difficult to look for a certain bike that I'd be comfortable. Okay, now that said, 5'3", lady rider. Uh, you know, <laughs> newbie rider. <laughs> newbie rider, uh, maybe something, you know, maybe the kind of person who wants something a little bit light. An adventure bike might not be the top of your yes. list, but the F750 yes. has sort of changed your mind, hasn't it? For me, um, it's really a good foundation because with its weight, it's 224 kilograms. So weight comes with stability. What I like also is that it has TFT display, which is very helpful for me because I can see the gauge, the fuel consumption, um, my speed, of course, and my distance. And the fuel tank capacity is 15 liters. It's very matipid. And the feeling of being in an F750, it feels like I don't have to worry anymore. All I have to do is just ride it. Right. Enjoy it and smile yes. while you're riding it. Is there any particular feature that really tops your list as far as what the 750 has to offer? Well, I think the seat. <laughs> as a newbie rider and um, as a short rider, it's very important, you know, the weed and of course the shape. It's narrow, so it's easier for me to lean towards right. and hug the tank with my uh, with my legs. So that's what I really like about it. And of course, it's very ergonomic. Wala yung feeling na ang sakit na ng pet mo mm. during longer rides. So that I like that it's very ergonomic. Okay, it's comfortable. It fits well, and it doesn't hurt that it looks pretty good as yes. well in this color pretty scheme. Pretty badass. Yeah, pretty <laughs> badass, right? So I'm, look, I'm looking forward to seeing you out on the road. Happy riding. Yes, I'll definitely see you on the road. All right, thanks so much, Rika. <laughs> Thank you. All right, now our next feature vehicle is going to be the BMW F850 GS. It is perfectly streamlined for off-roading, as can be seen from its 21-inch front wheel. What matters is your curiosity and what drives you, regardless of how far or where you want to ride. Now, speaking of far destinations, we have with us another riding enthusiast who's best known in motorcycle communities as JT of Motor. He also does the famous Libot Pilipinas vlog. Let's hear it from the man. Hey JT, now before we talk about this amazing bike, let's talk about you and how you got started in riding. How would you describe yourself as a rider? I mean, you're known for your mile-munching uh, tours, uh, you know, 81 provinces and all of that. Yeah. Um, but what kind of a rider are you? Well, um, number one, I'm definitely a safe rider. Yes, uh, safety is uh, number one priority for me. Mm -hmm. But of course, it's most of, mostly on touring and seeing beautiful places using the bike. Okay, so what for you would make uh, the ideal bike for the kind of riding that you're interested in doing? Yeah, uh, for me, it's definitely 100% an adventure bike. If you ask five different people what they think an adventure bike should be, you'll get five different answers. Okay. What are the most important things for you aside from comfort? Are there any specific features that maybe you find here on the F850? Um, yeah, of course, it's the suspension that's number one. Of course, it's connected with uh, comfort as well. But absorbing those, you know, the, the impact on, on, the, on the road is, you know, it's very important. And as well as safety features. Right. What would you say are some of the standout features or your personal favorite features on the F850? Yeah. My favorite is uh, the display, the TFT display. Uh, I think it's one of the best, if not the best, TFT displays out there. Yeah. It's very vivid, mm -hmm. it's uh, very visible even on extremely bright conditions. Mm -hmm. uh, aside from the quality itself of the display, I also like the user interface. It's very user-friendly. You can navigate uh, easily through the menus. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk about the position. You know, generally when we say adventure bike, people generally think, oh, it must be a tall bike. It's probably a little bit heavy. Um, how do you feel about the, the size, the heft, the weight, and the height? Yeah, so I'm not gonna lie, most of the adventure bikes, because they have high ground clearance, mm -hmm. it's practically higher than most bikes. Somehow intimidating for us Filipinos, but I was wrong. I was like, what? Why haven't I, you know, rode this for, you know, from the start? Mm -hmm. right. But it's very comfortable and easy to use. Okay, tell me about the, the wheel setup. How, how does that work for you? Oh, yeah. For me, it's probably 60, 40 or 70, 30. 70 more on the off-road mm -hmm. and 30 uh, on uh, the road. Because it has 21 uh, inches diameter wheel size on the front and 17 on the rear. It 
gives it uh, a more you know uh, comfortable and it takes on the the road uh, better yeah absolutely let's talk about the look i mean this black and yellow scheme 40 years of gs it just screams uh, legendary doesn't it i mean it really right. does harken back to the, the original r100 so i really dig the, the design i was really glad that uh, they went for for this uh, design because it's it's a good mix with you know the dark theme the, the black and the, the grays and then the accent of yellow or maybe a gold in, in different angles mm -hmm. you know it matches with the gold rims and all so it, i really like the design okay 81 provinces and counting i'm counting i'm making it 82 83 85 <laughs> maybe with you one of these days i'll see you on the road JP. all right thank Thanks you so thank much. you paulo thank you all right our next feature is the r90 urban gs now i heard that today's r90 urban gs 40 years gs edition well with its milled option 719 cylinder head covers and the yellow hand protectors are all about the details details and details the off-road tires and the race scrambler exhaust complete the look and are a nod to the 40 years of awesome gs history of course, all this talk is nothing compared to the riding experience, which will be told by two vloggers known for their thrilling travels and adventures around the Philippines. They are the ones who are making this happen. Let's hear it from Mike and Nelly. Guys, we've got Mike, we've got Nelly, and we've got the R90 Urban yes. GS. Let's make it happen, guys. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's talk about you guys as vloggers. I mean, obviously, uh, you guys vlog about anything and everything, but you guys are passionate about travel, and yeah. motorcycle travel is something different, isn't it? What is it about motorcycle travel that is so special? Well, you know, we love road trips. Yeah. We always love to do road trips, and our very first road trip on a motorcycle was in the Philippines and it's just so immersive. You're not sitting inside a box, you're out there with the environment and it's just stunning. Yeah, yeah? you wanna add to that? Yeah, um, for me it was just that feeling of freedom and just, it's so different. It makes you feel alive. Right. And for me, that was the entrance level into motor, motorbikes. Yeah. Right, I, I love the way you guys are so excited about talking about <laughs> motorcycles. Well, let's jump straight into it. You know, I'm sure um, you've, you know, you've had varying experiences with motorbikes, but really the kind of bike that you ride also shapes the experience and riding the R90 Urban GS really does leave a lasting memory, doesn't it? Tell us about your experience riding this bike. Well, what I love about it, it has so much torque around the low end and the low center of gravity. It just it feels very nimble, but it has so much power. Yeah. Are, are there any you know particular features? Let's talk about what are you, some of your standout features on uh, on this bike that make your list of I don't know your top three features maybe. You know, I always loved vintage bikes, and what I love about the Urban GS is just they took like elements from old models from like the R100 GS and they implemented here. So we have like the bumblebee color scheme and the beautiful cylinder heads here. Yeah. It's just stunning. It is absolutely. Let's talk a little bit more about some of the uh, the things that you love about the bike. You said it's got that vintage look. Um, what about ergonomics, comfort? I mean, you're a fairly tall fellow. How's, how's the comfort uh, right oh, with this? It's great. The handlebars are higher up than with the normal R90, so you've got like a upright stance, which makes it comfortable on long rides, especially. Okay. Yeah. Okay, with a bike like this, what is your dream destination? Batanes. Yeah? Yeah, Batanes is just spectacular. And riding this motorbike in Batanas would be Ooh, the dream. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll have to figure out how to put some floaters on here. I think we can engineer it, but we can make it happen. Thank you so much, guys. A real pleasure talking to you. Thank, Thank you. you. What a ride, huh? Now we go to our last feature, but definitely not the least. Our next feature is the R1250 GS and R1250 GS Adventure. With its modern technical equipment, this GS is the ideal partner for your adventures. Its riding modes pro with new dynamic engine brake control ensure superior pleasure in every situation, while modern lighting technology helps provide the excellent illumination and optimum visibility. And to know more about this GS, well, ta-da! is a special day because we celebrate 40 years of the GS, not just with one GS, but with two. We've got the R1250 GS and its heftier bigger brother, the R1250 GS Adventure. Now, these two bikes are absolutely special in my book. They represent the pinnacle of adventure bikes. Um, there is a rich history surrounding these bikes, but before we talk about them, I'd like to talk a little bit about my start in motorcycling. Now, I started riding bikes 
almost 30 years ago as a young college student. It was all about practicality for me back then. I needed a cheap and practical way to move around, but little did I know that it would turn into a lifelong passion for traveling on two wheels. Motorcycling really represents uh, not just getting from A to B, but it represents the keys to freedom. It really did open the door to adventure for me. So the GS really does remain to be a holy grail for many riders out there, myself included. So many years later, when I was finally able to add a GS to my stable, I felt like I had really achieved a lifelong dream. And it really is a dream because it's an absolute dream to ride these bikes, which are the combination of you know the raw motorcycling experience combined with a very refined ride. It's loaded with all kinds of technological features that work with you in a very unobtrusive way to make it the best riding experience that you can possibly have without actually getting in the way of your riding. Let's talk about the GS. Now, of course, the highlight of this uh, 1250 is 1,254 cc's of boxer twin goodness with the shift cam technology. It gives you the best of both worlds, power, uh, tractability in the lower revs, and it also has the power there when you crack open that throttle. Now, this is a bike that will really rip on the tarmac. I consider myself more of a road rider, and I was surprised to find bikes like these that handle so well on the road can handle so well off-road as well. Obviously, you have to have the skill, but these bikes will always be better than the rider. Some of the standout features here, of course, on the 40 years edition is the dynamic headlight package that you have here. These are lights that tilt up and down, follow you through the curves left and right. It's an amazing feature that really sort of puts the icing on the cake. Standard features, of course, like the keyless ride. You've got beautiful features here on this particular edition, the 40 years GS. This option 719 black mill cylinder head covers with the yellow trim on it. It matches with these yellow handguards. Absolutely beautiful. Now, I've seen pictures of these bikes and I thought that they were good, but when you see them in person, you will absolutely be starstruck. These bikes are the perfect salute to 40 years of GS. Now, to tell us a little bit more about the 40 years of GS celebration, I'm here with Mr. Spencer Yu, the president of SMC Asia Car Distributors Corporation. Thank you, Paolo, and all of our friends from the Motorrad riding community. This is truly an exciting time for BMW Motorrad in the Philippines, as you have just witnessed the reveal of our special BMW models created for the 40 years of GS. Four decades ago, the R80 GS, meaning Geland und Strasse, was presented for the first time. It was the pioneer of the adventure riding segment, and it laid the foundations for many decades of success. Since then, the GS name has been synonymous with adventure and excitement both on and off the road. Riding dynamics, riding comfort have always been a highlight and this has been carefully refined over the years to garner multiple awards globally and meet the demands of generations of discerning riders across the world. These exciting special 40 years GS editions of our successful models are a homage to the origins of the touring enduro motorcycles. From the 310 GS, from the F750 GS, the F850 GS, and our most successful boxer engine models, the R1250 GS and GS Adventure, to the classic R90 Urban GS, these anniversary models are equipped with new features and design inspired by the origins of the GS template. Each of these motorcycles combine riding pleasure and incredibly distinct details that truly stand out. We are confident that these anniversary edition motorcycles will cater to new and returning customers that are looking for a truly unique story behind their machines. As we enter the second quarter of another challenging year, we want to be able to carry on the momentum of a successful start that we have had for 2021. And I guess it's only fitting that we are able to share these new models with our viewers and loyal customers today. Despite these uncertain and daunting times, BMW remains committed to providing new and innovative products that our fans will love and aspire to own. Our dedication is only strengthened by the support and love of the brand, not just from our amazing customers like you, 
but from our team and dealer network here at BMW. We look forward to seeing you at any one of our BMW Motora dealerships nationwide, and I want to personally thank you all for joining us today. Remember to always stay safe, stay healthy, and never forget to make life a ride. Thank you. our feature on 40 years GS, four decades of adventure. Now it's been a wild ride alluding to the legendary past while experiencing the modern technology of the future. If you are a riding enthusiast, whether you're a newbie or a veteran, please do check it out and make memories for the coming years ahead. Here's to freedom, adventure, and to you.